Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss the example for the binomial expansion where the n is not a positive integer or we can say it's a fraction or a negative integer. So find the first four term in the expansion 1 minus x to the power of negative 1 and state the value of x for which this expansion is valid. So now referring to the formula 1 plus x to the power of n okay so where n is not a positive integer so we will have our formula 1 plus n multiply with the x plus the third term will be n n minus 1 over 2 factorial x to the power of 2 the fourth term will be n, n minus 1, n minus 2 over 3 factorial, x to the power of 3 plus so on. So now we are going to substitute the formula, okay, with the value. <clears throat> so in this case, 1 minus x to the power of negative 1. We will have the first term equals to 1, followed by the second one, n will be equals to negative 1. x will be negative x. Proceed. So n will be negative 1. So n minus 1. n minus 1. So our n in here is negative 1. Negative 1, we will have negative 2 over 2 factorial. So, in here, our x is negative x to the power of 2. Plus, the fourth term will be negative 1. So, in here, negative 1, negative 1, we will have negative 2. Negative 1, negative 2, we will have negative 3 over 3 factorial. Finally, negative x to the power of 3. So, simplify the situation we will have 1 plus x so multiply we will have 2 over 2 we will have 1 so our answer will become x squared okay so in here we will have 2 multiply so we will have negative 2 multiply negative 3 we have 6 and then multiply with negative 1 we will have negative 6 3 factorial we will have 6 so in this case we can simplify then we will have negative 1 so lastly for the negative x to the power of 3 we will have negative x so negative 1 multiply with negative x cubed so answer will become plus x cubed So finally, our answer will become 1 minus x to the power of negative 1 equals to 1 plus x plus x squared plus x to the power of 3 plus so on. So this is our expansion. Now we are going to state the value of x for which this expansion is valid. So we have to substitute the value negative x so from here, this is the n situation for absolute value. So we will have negative 1 until 1. So valid for this expansion. So here we are and thanks for watching.